guys, what's up? I, um, I'm not doing a figure today. I'm doing a mask I bought off of evike.com. It's a airsoft mask from an airsoft store. Uh, it cost about $90. And I'm gonna review it as fast as I can because I only have like five minutes in my SD card. Okay, um, the design of it is, it's called, on the website I found it under, Red Scars or something like that, but it's the Mushroom Head Mask design. Uh, the, the type of mask it is, is the Tyson Rios kind. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's got the scars that Tyson has on the left, the right side of his cheek. The little skull smiley thing. Um, <coughs> got the straps and everything. Um, got the wire eye mesh thing that a BB cannot fit through. You know, so I'm pretty sure you could wear this alone and not really have to worry about getting shot in the eye, but if you want to take it out to a field, and have a field legal, like, for pro stuff or whatever, then you have to wear goggles under it. Um, so that's the outside. See the buckles all over? By the way, I've heard some people say that the buckles break. Like these bolts or screws or whatever. So be careful about that. And these are the buckles right here. I've got five adjustable straps. I had to do it as pretty much as tight as it could get because I have a small head. Uh, most people say that this does not cover your ear, but I have a small head, so my ears just barely and it fits inside of there. Um, I'll show you the inside. A little CH on the back of that for cactus hobby. Got a little cactus. Here. The inside of the mask, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there's padding here, all the way to the top, and it comes down to the other side, like down here. And then there's padding right here at the forehead, which is really, really nice. There are air holes, mouth, a few in the nose. You are now the masked man. And I'm going to put it on and show you what it looks like on me. Huh? You liking what you're seeing? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Overall, I think this thing is really, really cool. Um, probably worth the money. It's really, it's nice and sturdy. You know, I really wouldn't worry about paint scratches that much unless you got a really high-powered gun shooting at you. Um, it looks really intimidating, like to see it all person, in person. Uh, straps. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's pretty much all I really have to say about this. Um, so yeah, maybe you would, maybe you should buy one if you're into airsoft and you want a mask that looks good, not just like a regular everyday mask that you see. Then I would get Army of Two mask. Yeah, that's pretty much it.